my name is Jaron Ellis. I'm a student slash rapper. And I'm here to talk about the violence that's going on in the UK right now. And it's not just down to gang violence. It's not just down to racial violence. It's not just down to violence that we see on the street. There's also mental violence and a lot of that kind of stuff that we have going on now. When I look at the problem with the youths and the problem that I see when I look at the younger generation, especially coming from the same place that I came from, and living a hard life, I feel like a lot of things have been taken away from them and they don't have the same access to the things that maybe we had access to 10, 15 years ago. Like basic things like youth club, like, and it's the same story that you guys probably heard over and over again, like taking away the youth funding, but it's had a big hit and a big implication. Hence, for example, I'm a strong believer in violence could be put down to, especially in the, the, the ghetto communities or less more or more impoverished places, shall we say like the youth violence down to the fact that the kids don't have somewhere to play but when you say play we we, we mean channel the energy like i see a lot of like a lot of the younger kids especially the ones that i mentor and i have around me they don't have nowhere to go channel that energy whether it is going to play football for free in the park and be coached or whether it is a youth club or whether it is a music lesson or whether it is half an hour of someone's time like mine which i'm more than happy to give and then when i look at the other side of the violence i also believe like there's there's a, there's been a strong a strong 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 surge in in violence to like religious violence which is also being put down to gang culture and that that also has bigger implications on like how they are say it people like me and the black black kids in the black communities being implicated just because of religious things <laughs> Or slice the face. Wow. So he's just literally so you've got through the road to slice the face. So you're 14 years old, you should be in school right now. You're not in school. Uh, why are you not in school? Excluded. You're excluded from school. So what are you what do you do when you're on the street and you're excluded? When your child is taken from you, let it just marinate for a minute. Let it marinate. Think about it. Think about the pain you feel. Now, don't think about you. Put yourself out the box for a minute. Think about the people that love you. People that care about you. Think about the worries. They're worrying about you. You know, I had a talk yesterday where I got invited to talk at a church in Houston. Um, I basically focus on the fact that we can no longer point a finger. Because if I keep pointing a finger, oh, he's not doing it, oh, she's not doing it, then what are you gaining? You're blaming everybody else, but you're not seeing it. So basically, let's just think about it for a minute. I want us, instead of pointing fingers, to say we as a whole. This is our society. This is our community. These are our children. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you know that you've got to look for different things. You know that this life is only going to lead to one thing and that one thing is not going to be very nice. It might lead to you being uh, stabbed in your chest. Yeah. So stay in school. 
honest to God, yeah, from me, stay in school, try the best you can. This life is not for you. Yeah, this is an illusion. This life is not for you. All right? All right. Them kids are kids, and I wonder, where's their parents? No, they, 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 school, they should be in their yard. Thank you. Two of them was underage, and one of them was 17. 17. So, what, what, what do you see in the sense of, like, was you shocked about what you heard? Or was you a little bit like, oh, it's happening? I was shocked that they had masks on tap. Like, their masks there, bam, on tap. It's CK, aka Spoken, here again, just to continue that discussion with everyone. And I say everyone because we all have a part to play in ensuring that the youth lay down a foundation for the generation that comes behind them. A lot of young people are finding themselves dead or in jail. We've heard this same cliche so many times. Way too young or way too early without giving them a, a chance to meet their potential or take advantage of the opportunities that are ahead of them. Opportunities in this side of the world are fruitful. We often forget that. I did as a younger person. I don't qualify as young anymore. But if we look at other places in the world, there is a distinct lack of education, real poverty, real hunger. I know there's a war going on outside for a lot of the young people caught up in particular lifestyles, you know, involving beefing and warring and all kinds of other stuff with other people. But we still get a free education over here. Most of the time people won't starve. You know, if they don't have to, there's always someone to reach out to. And I don't think we fully appreciate that. I know I, as a young person, I didn't. But I remember hearing something so simply. It was said, um, every day that you and I wake up, somebody else doesn't. And that's one of the truest things I've ever heard. It reminds me to be grateful for what I have and make the most out of what I have. And I encourage young people, the youth, to do that 10, 15 times more so because as a younger person, you have all of that space, all that time to reach your potential. Shaky and warm inside A feeling that you'd all describe us Butterflies like falling from heights I can't help these thoughts of mine This song is for those who relate to me Feeling trapped in a struggle and acres staying far from haters they want to see me get acquainted with the undertaker every morning i wake up and thank my creator and then i look for paper i'm saying About the struggle, struggle, had criminal trouble, trouble, forced to hustle, snow sleep, rainy puddles, puddles, back against the wall, wall, I was forced to brawl, brawl, phone home, collect calls, mess halls, halls, had to do a bed, bed, had to lose my crib, crib, used to move with six.